Hello, colleagues and students. I'm introducing today the Lakers Together communication plan, which you're going to hear from me a great deal over video. You'll hear from me in written form. And we'll be introducing a new website with this series where you can find all of the planning in real time as it continues to evolve. And so the first segment we will do is about the health and safety and how we mitigate risk for our community as we come back to face-to-face -to -face activities. Second, we wanna to talk to you about university life. We wanna be sure that the Grand Valley experience is delivered to each and every student and the faculty and staff feel supported in their work. Third, we wanna to talk to you about, through these vehicles, um, the opportunities to personalize what you might need. So an FAQ around frequently asked questions and an opportunity to talk about what supports we have should you run into problem or questions along the way for students, faculty, and staff. And then responsibility is a two-way vehicle. And so we're asking of you as well as providing to you. And so we want you to take on the personal responsibility along with us to help the university mitigate risk, stay safe, follow the guidance. So today we're kicking it off with Chief Dehan. Chief Dehan, um, we've gotten to know each other well over the last year, but can you talk a little bit about your background? I'm a Made in Michigan product, uh, born and raised in West Michigan uh, and attended Grand Valley State. I'm a Laker for a lifetime and very proud to be, have the opportunity to not only go to school here, but to work here as well. So my career has been here at Grand Valley State and it's been an exciting time for the last 30 some odd years. So Brandon, can you begin by telling us what the IMT is and how you think about the work of all of this massive planning that's been underway for some time? IMT is really tasked with identifying uh, operational components to assist the university. We have members that are part of facilities, Grand Rapids and Allendale, as well as our Dean of Students, residential housing, university communications, and public safety. We are meeting regularly to discuss and identify different plans of action. Our technical advisory group is meeting weekly with the Department of Health, not only in Kent, but Ottawa counties, to identify best plans of action and guidance for the university. Chief Dehan, where do you think we are as an institution? If you were to calibrate when you meet with other public safety officers. We are trending in the right direction uh, for the university in comparison to other institutions of higher education. We have a lot of work to do. Most certainly there is, but a lot of work has been done already and we're, we're pleased about that. Information that's being identified through the incident management team is also being conferred with academic and student affairs, along with our senior leadership here at the university. So the IMT um, is really a point of integration for a lot of other pods of planning that you have underway. Like each of those areas, I know you have teams and extended teams on um, can you maybe talk about how you integrate the plan um, and then how you advance it to the senior leadership team for information, consultation, or decision? The incident management team meets daily to discuss different uh, objectives that the university needs to have work done. With that being said, what we do is we forward information to the senior leadership and we also, any of our discussions, notes are forwarded to senior leadership as well in an era of transparency to ensure that they know what we are talking about and the work that's taking place. I wanna thank you for that work and I wanna thank you um, for participating in the senior leadership team three to four times a week to actually allow us to not only have the information to engage with you and whoever else might be the expert if we're talking about how we're planning housing or how we're thinking about air quality, um, we're able to have a conversation to assure we're making the best decisions on behalf of our community. So thank you for that, it's so appreciated. And we've certainly gotten to know each other well over my first year and I feel uh, deeply grateful to you and the work that you and your colleagues have done. We will continue this series and continue to populate that website. Do not think of it as a stagnant place, it's going to be vibrant as we gear up for um, our activities to be fully 
engaged in fall. So thank you very much and enjoy talking with you, Brandon. Thank you.